What's up, everyone? Dapper here. We are back playing some more Derail Valley. Um, oh, apparently... Oh, no. Okay, I still have this job. Okay, hold on, hold on. Um, I need to turn this in. And I don't know where to turn this in. Alright, here we go. Uh, time to turn this in. In progress. Some cars are missing from track. Bring them in. I don't know what's going on right now. I'm pretty confused, actually. Oh, uh, wow, 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 wow. Let's turn that down. Um, what's going on? I could have swore we finished this in the last episode. Uh, here's the job. Let's validate that. There we go. <laughs> Complete. Okay, I think I need to save next time. I still got the, uh, the good old time bonus. Anyway, uh, let's, uh, take this job report and just chuck that in the trash. Today, we're gonna be looking for the remote. I've got a lot of comments asking me to go get it. Uh, apparently it's this life-changing thing when doing- playing this game, so I'm gonna go try to find it and see what it's all about. Uh, but I have no clue where it's at, so I'm actually gonna have to look that up really quick. So, it says it's at Machine Factory in town. Wait, what am I doing? World map. Uh, machine factory in town. I've never actually been here, so I guess I'm gonna fast travel there just to check it out. Here we go. All right, we are at machine factory in town, and apparently I'm looking for a place where I can buy things. Apparently there's a store here. Is somewhere over here, maybe? I don't know. I'm gonna run around until I find something that looks like a shop. Oh my gosh, I found the shop. What? It's just this little thing in the middle of nowhere? Okay, uh, hello. Oh, is this what we're after? This is what we're after right here. All right, uh, excuse me, can I buy this? Hello, is anybody here? Um, oh, there's a lot of things that we can buy. Wait, why would I want to buy that? That gives that to me for free. Oh, so the shovels use, oh, so I'd have to buy a shovel in order to do the steam engine, interesting. Locomotive remote. All right, do I have the money for this? No, I do not, but I am bad with my funds, so we're gonna be purchasing it anyway. <laughs> All right, $25,000 for the remote. Uh, how do we do this? Uh, do I take this and I go, boop. Wait, is that it? Oh, I do it right here. Locomotive remote. And uh, yes, I'm very bad with my money, so we're gonna buy that. Excellent. Holy cow, it comes with instructions, yes. All right, who needs instructions? Let's just grab all this. We're good. We're leaving the shop. We got the remote. Uh, how do I work this thing? Okay, so I got like speed, throttle. Um, all right. I guess I need to actually read the manual. <laughs> no way. Okay. Uh, I need to find a train that I can use. Okay, here we go. Uh, we're here. How do I do this? Okay, so I can control this train. So... Open my remote. Oh, I probably have to turn it on first. <laughs> okay, so I'm in the locomotive. I have my remote. Let's go ahead and pair this up. Are we paired now? No way, what? Hold on. Um, let me go ahead and do this turntable here. Okay, there we go. All right, all right. Uh, can I just um, forward? No way, what? Uh, brakes, brakes, brakes. <laughs> please, please stop. No. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was perfect. Okay, it stopped, it stopped, it stopped. No way, what do I do with this? I don't even, everyone keeps telling me to buy the remote, but like, why? <laughs> okay, okay, here we go. All lined up once again. Um, and uh, we can just take that break off, uh, sound the horn, turn that down, and then increase. No way. What? What? Can I can I see it somehow? No. Like how do I There's no way. How am I going to rec control everything from here? If I can't even see what I'm doing. I don't know. We're going to try this out though. This is awesome. All right. So, um I have my controller here and um I'm in desperate need of some money. We need to make some money. All right. So, uh how do I do this? Okay, so I'm looking at the map right now, and I'm curious. Um, if I can't see the train, is there any route that I can actually just make the train go down? And it will, uh, <clears throat> it will make it there kind of thing? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I think I'm gonna teleport out of here. 
Uh, let's go ahead and turn this off. I, don't, I really don't want to pay fees on this one as well. Right, where was I? I was at Oil Well Central. Let's go back to my locomotive there. Let's see if there's any jobs here. Because uh, obviously, once again, I need to make some money. Uh, not doing so good on the money front. But anyway. Oh, can't do that. Can't do that. Nope. Nope. I can't do any of these. Okay. We're leaving. <laughs> Oh, uh, we are leaving. Let's go to the steel mill. There's got to be some, like, beginner missions kind of there. Or some easy missions, right? I have the remote. I really don't know what to do with it. I think I'm too far away for that to even work. So let's just go ahead and power that down. Um, but I do have these two missions that I can grab here. And I need to make sure I have a train here that I can grab as well. All right, here we go. Here we go. Got an engine right here. This is going to be my new engine. Uh, it's all in the trees and stuff, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and start that up. Uh, I need to pair the remote with this. All right, there we go. Locomotive remote. Let's try this out. Uh, forward throttle. Oh, no, that's reverse. No, wait, wait. St <laughs> no, I put it up. Well, <laughs> um... That was supposed to be, uh, that was supposed to be forward. Um, how, how bad's the damage here? What, what, what happened? Uh, it's 38%. You know what? Uh, we'll go with this one instead then. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Who recommended the remote to me? I mean, obviously, like, what am I going to do with this thing? All right. Hold on. Let's try this again. <laughs> All right. Now I'm gonna use this remote and we are gonna tell the train to come here. Okay, so everything is set up. I have my locomotive remote and I am now going to control said locomotive. And uh, I hear it, I hear it. Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> what? This is awesome. Okay, uh, so yeah, that is that is on its way. So I should see that here soon. Uh, it's gonna be coming around this corner here. Got my remote. This is, um, <laughs> this is interesting. Wait, how far can we actually go? We can't, we can't, I don't think we can go that far. It looks like the signal doesn't go that far. Anyway, this is still pretty cool. Okay, so here it comes. Uh, definitely gonna need to slow that down. So now that's chilling. Oh, the brake's on. Well, that's not good. All right, we'll take the brake off. We'll tell it to come over here again. Uh, we're getting some wheel slip. That's a cool indicator. Excellent. All right, here it comes. Let's slow that down. Let's get out of the way a little bit. And we're going to throw on the, the brake, the brake, the brake, the brake. <laughs> there we go. Um, now we can get the, uh, the comms radio. Flip that over. All right, here it goes. All right, that's going fast. Let's throw that off. Let's run over here. All right, so we're coming in to pick this up. All right, any day now. <laughs> uh, being in the train while it's moving is great, but like, uh, you know, just sitting around waiting for it. <laughs> oh, okay, hold up, hold up. Uh, we need to slow this down. Nice. That was uh, perfect. Slow down. All right, all right, all right. So as soon as it gets up there, I'm gonna check out this uh, this couple button here. No way. Like that? That's amazing. What? We just coupled it up with one button. The, the, okay, okay. That makes it that makes it kind of worth it. I'm not gonna lie. All right, excellent. Now this is cool because now, now I can find my other job here wherever I put it. Oh my gosh, what is happening? 51. We're looking for 51. What does that look like again? Just those. Is this 51? All right, here we go. This is it right here. Excellent. This is amazing. I can't believe... Okay, this is uh, this is interesting, I should say. I don't really know what how to use this very effectively other than what I'm doing now, which I feel like is the same thing as actually controlling the train. But anyway, uh, let's go to the comms radio. Let's change that, that. All right, so um, I think I need to break... No, not do that. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, <laughs> all right. There we go. That's fine. It's a nice speed. I'm going to get over here. Maybe it's not a nice speed. It's actually, eh, eh, it's fine, I guess for now. 
I'll probably hit the brakes as soon as it gets closer. Uh, the coupling thing is amazing, though. Uh, definitely love that. Uh, let's turn this up a little bit. Like, a lot of bit. Well, that's fine. Uh, we hit that a little hard. Can we couple that? Yes, we can. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Um, I did not check the weight on this thing. Can I even do this job? That's the last thing I... I definitely did not look at that. I think we're going to be just under our weight here. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So we are all hooked up and I have my two jobs here and I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we're, we're well under the weight capacity. I'm pretty sure there's not many hills along the way on this route because we have to go from the steel mill here uh, up to goods and factory town. Now, I'm pretty sure this is set, but I'm wondering how do I use this remote? Can I just... Do I just run ahead and flip all the switches and just hope that it makes it there? I don't really know. <laughs> I don't really know what to do with this thing. Well, it is cool. Um, I love the coupling, but uh, I think I'm just going to go accept these jobs and just hop on the train normally. And I guess we'll control it with a remote. I think that's what we'll do. Anyway, let's go ahead and accept that. Uh, let's put that away and we will accept that. Take that. Perfect. Um, what is on the back end here? Oh, what am I doing? All right, so let's uh, get my remote out here. Uh, go ahead and hop into the train. Uh, we will put that in not that direction. There we go. All right, we're moving. Uh, 51 is on the back end, so we're going to need to drop that off first. So we need to haul that to D6 inbound. Perfect. I'm pretty familiar where that is by now. Um, so I guess... I don't know. What do we do here? So I have the remote. It'd be cool if you could, like, watch it from somewhere else. But I guess that's, like, the same as driving it. I don't know. So do I, like, just go ride the train here? I, <laughs> I mean, this doesn't make any sense. I don't know. I don't know what to do with this thing. <laughs> it's like... It's like too much for you know what let's we're just gonna ride in a weird spot how about this yeah this is kind of cool just hanging out on the front of the train it's a lot louder out here i feel like i i can't hear myself think but uh it's kind of cool uh, i think we can up the speed a little bit here not that much maybe oh my gosh sounds are so much louder out here well it's really cool that the speed is like right there we're kind of just chilling um man that'd be interesting what if you could see the train on the map that would be that would be something and like if you just knew the speed limits i don't know maybe i'm not seeing the full potential of this thing here right now uh but one of the things i am going to be using a lot is that couple button that makes it so fast uh i still don't know what this is uh oh 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 gosh Oh, you know what? That's That changes the amount of cars that you can uncouple, I think. Interesting. Uh, well, we're going to have to be trying that as soon as we get out there. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and bump up that speed a little bit. Wow, it is a lot louder when you ride the outside of the train. <laughs> uh, this is kind of cool, though. You know, we're just chilling up front, hanging out. Uh, I didn't really check out that sign. I think I can coast a little bit here. I think the speed limit is 70, and we're just under that and gaining speed. So we're just kind of hanging out here. Yeah, there's a 7. Um, we got level ground here, so I guess we can just chill for a little bit. Uh, I don't see engine heating on here, so that's interesting. Um, so what happens if the engine overheats? That would be uh, that would be bad, because you, you wouldn't be able to tell. Anyway, we have an 8 speed limit coming up. This is amazing. We're just, uh, we're just chilling here. Just hanging out. <laughs> this is kind of crazy. Uh, hopefully I can make some money back, because I basically went bankrupt to get this thing. Like, <laughs> if we, if we crash, oh my gosh, that would be, uh, very bad. Anyway, uh, we're just, we're hanging out. Uh, let's check the map here. I guess I'll put that away for now. Uh, we're maybe just about halfway. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Back to back to my remote. All right, we'll keep my remote here. Uh, wow, some overburden just like plowing through. The I'd be dead right now. 
Anyway, we got a 10 speed limit coming up. I suppose we can bump it up a little bit. Engine has had a little break. Uh, and we shouldn't be stopping anytime soon. Yeah, this is this is definitely a different view for doing this. Um, we got the whole train behind us, and uh, we're kind of just chilling on the front. Uh, we got a nine with a dropping speed coming up. Uh, so I guess I'll go ahead and coast once again. Uh, it's nice coasting because it's not as loud in my ears, you know? <laughs> Oh my gosh, what am I doing right now? Okay, uh, so we got the sander there, we got the horn, ow, uh, loud. What if I just turned it off right now? Would it, would it turn off the train? No, then we just have no, uh, <laughs> uh it just like, co I guess we just have no controls over it. I had to test it out. Uh, there's a signal boost, interesting. I don't know what that's for. Uh, we have a 7 coming up. We are very good on the speed here. Uh, do I need to do any turns? I think I need to stick to the right. Let me check the map real quick. Okay, so we need to stick to the right, and that's about it. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, I think we're going to be on time. Let me check the other job real quick. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Did I not... Ex what, what happened? No! I never turned this job in! I grabbed two of them! What happened? No! No way! No way I did that! Oh my... Okay, well... Got that one, but uh... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought this was the, the thing that you turn in. Never mind, we're good. We're good. <laughs> All right, so we need to go to D5 uh, inbound on that one. Perfect. So they're right next to each other. Let's get my remote back out here. Um, yeah, we're just chilling. I got I got the wind blowing through my hair right now. Hanging out on the front. Uh, how are we looking for speed limits? We are looking great. Um, the switch should be coming up here soon. Right? I didn't miss that, did I? Excellent. No, I did not. Uh, I should have my comms radio ready, though. Uh, like so, if I can hit it. There it is. Got it. Got it. Um, let's put that away. Get the remote out. How's my speed for this? Oh, it's good. It's right on the money. We're going 5-2, and the speed limit's 5. Perfect. All right, so we are headed right now. I mean, yeah, I suppose the view is a lot better up here at the front of the train. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Just get to chill, look around, enjoy the sights, the fresh air. Uh, we got a seven coming up and we are going uphill. So uh, let's give it some gas. There we go. Uh, we're slowing down. Am I just... I just spun? Oh, that's not good. Uh, what it, What just happened? I can't go up a 1% incline? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Is the weight too much? Hmm. I really don't know what's happening. I'm trying to go backwards. We're on a hill. I should be able to. I, I cut my extra cargo loose, so we shouldn't even be that heavy. I'm giving it full power, and I can't I can't do anything. All right, this is what we're doing. I'm fast traveling, and I'm getting another engine. Uh, definitely not going to get the time bonus on this one, but that's fine. We just need money at this point, because uh, I just destroyed a locomotive. That's not very good. Um, is this one still destroyed on me? Okay, it's at 38%. Oh my gosh, I can't afford it. I cannot afford it. No! <laughs> no! Okay, uh, backup plan. Backup plan. Uh, we're gonna spend some more money. Alright, here we go. Now we're talking. Let's, uh, I got another train here. And, uh, hopefully I can, I can get it out of this predicament that I'm in. Alright. So here's the plan. I've got another DE2. 
We're gonna be on the same track that I, I let loose uh, my cargo. So hopefully I can push into that cargo and then push up. Oh, there's the train on the map. Maybe that's why the remote. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so I'm gonna be in the back train. This is actually the perfect use for this, if it, if it all works. So that I can control the front train or the, yeah, the front with uh, the remote. And then I will control the back inside. Oh, this might be perfect. Um, except I don't know if I'm paired anymore, but it's fine. As soon as I get close, I'll just go pair it. Or, you know what? I'm just going to control this train. That makes more sense, doesn't it? Oh, let's kick it in the high gear. Uh, I'm not going to try to rush this. There's just, uh, there's probably just no way that I'm going to make the time bonus on this one. It'll be a miracle if I do. <laughs> but anyway, um, at least we can get some money for this mission. That would be really nice. So right now we are on our way. Uh, we still have to go through steel mill here uh, to get to everything. Wait, what is that? We already took the thing out of there. Alright, hopefully this is going to be fine. I hope this isn't the tra my trade. Did it come all the way back here? No, it's completely different. Alright, perfect. Oh, phew! Alright, uh, we're going on the speed limit. That's great. Alright, I need to watch out. We're getting closer. Along this route somewhere is the, uh, the cargo that I let loose. So hopefully we don't smash into it. That would be fantastic if we did not do that. So I'm on the lookout for that. Uh, maybe I should just scout ahead. Okay, so we are up a ways now, and uh, I don't think there's an immediate danger of that happening. Wait, where's the cargo? Oh no, it disappeared. I've never seen that happen. Okay, well, because I uncoupled it, it's uh it's completely disappeared fantastic this is this is just going great this is going fantastic um so yeah that's gone forever well this thing still has 70 percent life so hopefully i can limp this load all the way in all right so it appears that i'm actually too far from the train to control it which is interesting because it's like right there we're actually pretty close uh, so hopefully, hopefully I get some signal here soon so that I can stop it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I got a little bit of signal. So I went down the track a ways. Um, so we can actually see that it's getting a lot closer right now. Let's check out the world map. It's it's right on top of me. It's right there. It's, it's flying too. Oh, <laughs> that looks so scary. Okay, we're going like 70. Oh, we're just cruising too. All right, second DE2 to the rescue. Hopefully we can at least accomplish this one job uh, since we seemingly lost the other. I assume when we fast traveled, uh, maybe decoupling it was not the best idea, but hopefully we can get a little bit of money here because uh, this has been a complete disaster, especially a financial disaster because I literally can't afford to fix these trains. So I'm gonna slow this down uh, so I don't smash into this other train right around the corner. Uh, so I'm not going to be able to couple it up. But hopefully I can use this one to push. Okay, here we go. Let's give it a little bit of gas. We're going to hop out. Get inside this train. Which is like completely damaged. I'll go ahead and start this up. You're kidding me. Two trains right now trying to push this load. And it's not working at all. <laughs> oh no, this remote control was a big mistake. I coupled it, but I guess I can't couple the engines together. Um, okay, this is good. This is good. Um, I'm gonna back up quite a bit, so that way hopefully I can get enough speed to actually make it up this hill. I don't get it. We are, uh, basically completely stuck. Wait, what? What? Well, I think I found the problem. Uh, I have a derailed cart here. What do I what do I do about this? I literally have to re-rail this. All right, that's re-railed. Um, but I'll oh, put this away, please. Oh gosh. All right. So um, yeah, like I said, this episode was a complete disaster. Um, I guess in the future, just check to make sure all my cars are railed. Uh, for some reason, the middle one jumped off. Don't know why that was. 
Uh, probably the whole thing could have been avoided. But uh, you know what we can do here now at least? Um, we can continue to control this train from another train. That's pretty cool. From this dead train here, we, we got our remote and we're able to control it. <laughs> and hopefully we can just drop this, uh, this cargo off for some money because I'm completely broke and going bankrupt. So this is this is all great. This is all very great. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a debacle. Um, okay, so we are actually almost there. Finally up and moving. I just, I can't believe it. <laughs> what a disaster. Anyway, we're just, uh, we're kind of hanging out now. Waiting, uh, just waiting to arrive. Basically limping back to base, um, <laughs> pushing this destroyed DE2 into the station. It's actually not really destroyed. It's at 70%. It still runs, you know? But, uh, yeah, not good. A lot of bad things happened. But, uh, yeah, the, uh, the coupling thing's kind of cool, I guess. And, uh, being able to remote control things is pretty awesome. <laughs> I might have spent too much money on this. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Um, yeah, like I said, we're just, just going to keep uh, limping this in. So let's go ahead and turn up the speed a little bit. Uh, I guess I'll use the last of whatever sand I have left. And I'm pretty sure it's out of sand. So maybe that's a bad idea. Let's turn that power down. Uh, let's go ahead and turn this engine on. And uh, maybe both of them can help limp back to uh, the base here. Alright, there we go. We're moving together now. Yeah, I would love to get that multi-license, because it's actually pretty difficult with this remote to control two at once. But it works. I mean, I suppose it can keep my fees down a little bit for a while. I could run two trains at once at some point. And hopefully I uh, don't have a crazy debacle like I did this time. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Today was rough. This is some rough, uh, some rough trains today. All right, well, we are just outside of the base now. I keep calling it a base. We're just outside of Goods and Factory Town. Goods Factory and Town, whatever. Here we go. Uh, do I actually need to? No, I don't need to do anything, I don't think. All right. Just through this tunnel, and we got to make it to D6 inbound. And uh, hopefully we can get a little bit of money, and hopefully I can uh, come back from this financial ruin. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. All right, so through the tunnel. Let's pick up the speed a little bit. I'm gonna get my comms radio ready. We're gonna do the uh, the switch over. So let's go ahead and get the switch out there. All right, so that switch up ahead is the one that we wanna take. So let's go ahead and get that flipped over. And uh, we will turn in this job mission. I think the station's like right over here. There it is. Okay, perfect. Yeah, no way I got the time bonus on this one. Like, <laughs> no, no chance whatsoever. Uh, I like that there's just some uh, wheels just sitting there. All right, we are finally almost there. I thought that was on my rail for a second. I was gonna be like, no way. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a day. What a day. Yeah, so um, definitely gonna need to make some money here in the future. Uh, it's not looking good at all. Uh, let's go ahead and turn my remote off. And I can turn this one off as well. And I can get ready to break this. We got a lot of weight on here, so I think I can just max out that while I hit the switch. Uh, I think I can max out both of them, <laughs> actually. We're flying. There we go. Uh, let's uh, put that away. I need the switch. All right, let's do a final remote use here. Let's go ahead and put it in reverse. Increase our throttle here. Um, of course, that's not going to work with the brakes on in the front, so I should take those off. Alright, it is doing it. 
Just gonna go ahead and uh, sit here and kind of wait for it. I'm gonna double check to make sure I'm in the right spot. That would just be great. Oh, we need to go to D5 inbound with this one. All right, it's a good thing I looked at that. Uh, where is D5 inbound? D5 inbound is here, so I need to go to this switch. Um, that is cruising right now. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's take that down a notch and let's throw on that independent break. And uh, that should stop in time. Maybe not. We'll go ahead and throw that on there. And perfect. Let's go ahead and head over to the station and turn this job in. Wow. What a nightmare of a run. Oh my gosh. Okay, here. Let's turn this in. Thank you. Completed. I uh, did not get the time bonus. But luckily, I got some money. I got some money. Hopefully... Hopefully this isn't the end of my run here. Uh, I stacked up a lot of fees in this episode. Anyway, let me know what you guys thought of this one down in the comments below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to hit the subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!